heck are you crazy creeps? We are back creeping East County Gresham. Right behind me here is this beautiful mural kind of representing America, the 4th of July, which is coming in very soon, like maybe 10 days or so, give or take. We're gonna do a little random creeping. I guess there's some fireworks stands up. We're gonna check some things out. I thought I'd start here, right behind, right, right in front of this beautiful mural that a few of my buddies touched up just a week ago. We saw them kind of painting it and fixing things up. But yeah, back to some random creeping. We got the sun on our, on our team today as well. And it's gonna be a beautiful day. So stay tuned. Doing a little creeping. Yeah, 4th of July coming in soon. Yeah, it is just so gorgeous and clear out. You can see all the mountains. And you can also really see Mount St. Helens there. With the peak there kind of chopped off from when it erupted back in the 80s. Probably one of the ultimate fireworks. Well, imagine if that imagine if that would have erupted on the 4th. Yeah, you can just barely make make it out. I wonder if are those still active? I don't know. I think I think so. So they do have a fireworks stand. Oh, I don't think they're quite open. Looks like they're just now getting things open. Yep, not open yet. In fact, I think that's the truck that brings them all. But there's also another place that somebody said is down here, a new Hawaiian donut shop that I've been wanting to check out. Let's creep over here and see if we can get any word as to when this might actually open. There's only like maybe 10 days until the big day. <laughs> Tell them where you're at. What is this? Uh, this is the so, Oregon Trail. Come and see us. TNT coming up tomorrow. Nice. Which is July. Or no, you guys will be here until at least July 4th. Oh yeah. Totally. But tomorrow's like the what? 20, it 23rd is the or something. 23rd. Yeah. Thanks guys for being here. I'm right. excited to see what you got this year. That's good. Good to see you back. Alright. So yeah, opening tomorrow. Dang, I was hoping to get some whistlers. You call that a fireworks stand and you ain't got any hoo-haws and pickle whistles. <laughs> Remember that from Joe Dirt? That was a good one. All right, let's see if we can find that donut shop. Somebody said it was down here. Maybe it's in a different complex. In fact, I want to head into Michael's too at some point and see if they have any of those Lee Max spooky houses. They usually are out like July, August. Uh, oh, you're good. Go ahead. Don't record me. Please. Oh, I'm recording just you, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Definitely not recording you, lady. <clears throat> All right, anyways, we're gonna hop into Michael's to see if they have any of the spooky Lemax Halloween things. Wow, they're really uh, got a lot of 4th of July stuff. Check out these sweet shades I could rock for the 4th of July. Usually I just go to Dollar Tree and get them, but look at this, we got the Camo Dave. Little guy, I swear for every holiday they make these now. Some little signage here, everything's about 50% off because we are creeping in soon. We got some wreaths here and a ton of, you know, 4th of July goodies. Mama Creeper's birthday's on July 3rd. So it's kind of a two day celebration with the fireworks and all the, you know, fun stuff. And in the middle of summer, so we usually go swimming, have a little barbecue. Look at this, we got the little Statue of Liberty pup. But yeah, they got a ton of 4th of July stuff. I could rock this big hat. Yep, we're early, but not too early. One of the associates told me that they actually start getting in their Halloween stuff like mid-July. <laughs> so yeah, we're a little early, but I did see some of the shelves being cleared, some of the schematics being kind of placed. So Code Orange is rocking soon, but no luck yet. I definitely want to check those out though this season. I've seen some good ones on a channel called Haunt Former found some new ones. Check out his channel if you like Halloween. Haunt Former. I'll leave links as well, but yeah, 
We got the creeper cruiser parked. It looks like we got the tent rocking over there. Not quite open yet. Looks like they're doing some work here too to the former. This was Aaron's as well. And it looks like they're doing some work down here too. I thought that donut shop was down here. But it may be in a different complex or maybe they're just not, I'm not at the right one. We got Marshall's here, which was Nature's a long time ago. And now, I'm not sure what's gonna go in here. Maybe this will be the big donut shop. But yeah, there was uh, Aaron's here and then there hasn't been real, oh yeah, see, they still have the sticker. So the Aaron sticker's still on here. But I don't see any, I don't see any donuts. Yeah, I wonder what's going to go in here. We have moved. 162nd in division. Yeah, I pulled back up and told that lady, look, I'm not filming you. Don't worry. Here's the old restaurant. I think it was a Super King buffet or something like that. So yeah, still a lot of open businesses through here but yeah no i told that lady look i'm not filming you i was filming michael almost looks abandoned but it's not they're renovating it so yeah looks like they getting it all fixed up there were cones looks like they're painting I'll circle in here real quick. Still got the sign up. Looks like they're tearing it all out. We did a vlog not too long ago from here because this was an original hot now. Kind of that unique style. Can I get an extra large mocha grande frap with uh, extra latte and a side of... I never know how to order. Yeah, it almost looks abandoned. But it's not. They're just fixing her up. Any word on when this will reopen? Uh, oh, right on. Have a good one, bro. That guy just said later half of July. So, yeah, fixing her up. They just recently put this whole brand new drive in, too. Just getting here to Mickey D's. I need me a coffee. And probably a burger at the Creeper uh, Creeper Cruiser Park. But check out this slug bug. Kind of the newer style, almost old school looking. And if you reel it in, or you know, zoom it in. Check out the plate. Well, after this guy gets out of the way. Is that your bug? Is that your bug? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love the plate. Just got the Walt Disney World stickers too. That's cool. We are on Burnside. Northeast Burnside, 465. This was my old bank, Portland Teachers Credit Union, for many years. And it looks like we got a brand new couple shops here. And this is the one that I was kind of hoping to see but it looks like sorry we're closed but yeah Hawaiian donuts wow and then we've got a Hope's Cafe here a little coffee shop but yeah this is a looks like it's gonna be good from what I saw online too. all the pictures of the donuts looked really good so you and your wife run it yes my wife she's from Hawaii she's from Oahu uh, nice little town on the North Shore Wailua and um, we make snacks and baked goods that remind her of her childhood. Nice. Uh, growing up there. And so we've been open since March. We're open two days a week, um, Fridays 7 to 5 and Saturdays 7 to 2. That's when you know they're good when there's just rare hours. I saw the pictures online, they look delicious. Yeah, yeah, they uh they Oh my God, it smells, this is when I need <laughs> smell-o-vision too. Yeah, it's coming through. 
Thank yeah. you so much for your time. I didn't want to interrupt because you were so hard at work, but it was like I put the camera and it was like it, like watching an episode of Mr. Rogers. Like everything was, it was showing everybody how you guys were like really here on hands on. Oh yeah. So you guys do everything yourselves. Yeah, we make everything ourselves from scratch. We're here is seven days a week. Um, the other days that we're not open, we're preparing for the days that we are open and then also working on our wholesale uh, aspect nice. of our business. That's still. when you know it's good is when the owners are actually hands on making things, you guys. So oh, yeah. come down here and check these guys out. What's the official name? Um, the company is Orwyan. Okay. Uh, it's a, a phrase that my wife, uh, word that my wife invented Oregon Hawaiian oh I like that yeah and then the physical location that's cool here is oh the bake shop okay yeah I kind of showed him the sign for a moment but yeah thank you so much for sharing that info yeah and I definitely have to come back and give you guys a whirl it's nice to meet you nice to meet you definitely too. thank you so much for your time that was way cool yeah. make sure you guys come down here and check them out like I said you know it's good when they have to take the days off just to prepare to get the things out and it's all hands-on fresh made everything from scratch We'll be back because you can't twist my arm on a good donut. All right. <laughs> nice to meet you. Just getting here to Estrada, as I believe is how you pronounce it. But it is this giant supermarket, kind of, uh, you know, Latino, Hispanic market. And it's got a full meat department and the cases with all the steaks and different uh you know, carne asada, fajitas, sausages. And I'd never been in here before. We were in here, oh, about maybe a year ago. Wow, look at all these salsas, too. And all these awesome pinatas. I'm going to have to remember to come back and get me some of this. They got all these different sodas, Mexican sodas, the Joritos, if you guys have ever had those. They're so good. But I've got all these different. You know, Mexican cervezas and beers. I don't drink, but if you guys do, this would definitely probably be the spot. Look at all these awesome pinatas. And I was talking with the owners. This was actually, like I said, the haunted house, but it was also the glow-in-the-dark putt-putt golf. And if you look right here on the, the wall, you can actually see remnants where there was a like a volcano in here. And there was a, it was a tiki, uh, tiki golf, like glow-in-the-dark kind of themed Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You got a fresh meat market. Yeah. Pretty much all the good Hispanic food you could think of. A little bit. How long have you guys been here for, bro? Uh, you and a half. Nice. Yeah, he reminded me. I thought this was the haunted house, but you said this is where the putt putt. This is where the putt putt. The, uh, what was it? The dark, glow in the dark putt putt, right? Uh, Something like hut. that. Tiki. Oh, Tiki Hut. That's tiki right. Hut. Sorry, yeah. This is cool though. Check this out. It smells so good. They've got all kinds of spices and gifts. They don't just sell meats and stuff. But yeah, you don't really see like on hand butchers anymore. So you can kind of pick out which meat you want and there'll be a butcher right on hand to take care of what you need. So, hey, thanks again. All right, so we did the video here not too long ago of the haunted house, but I actually went in and the owners are so nice, so nice. And this is the Estrada supermarket. He was thinking about doing another grand reopening, kind of to revamp everything and get things rolling again. But yeah, a ton of product. And I just really loved the owner. He was super, super nice. Come down here and support these guys. Still haven't done anything with the old Kmart either. They've been using it for kind of like a Bazaar, thrift sale kind of thing. Two Hearts Marketplace. So that's different. Because it was uh, called something else. Saturday, July 15th. July 16th, the 22nd, and the 23rd. Ghost signage. Kmart. This guy set up shop here. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, the old, the old Kmart fall apart. We'll have to come back, and check out the the bazaar. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, look at that! It's an old blue light special. Yeah, it's just absolutely stunning today. Feels so good. Just being in a t-shirt. Summer's finally here. 
official day yesterday. And I really want to appreciate you guys. Well, tell you how much I appreciate you guys for tuning in and creeping with. It means a lot to me. I've noticed there's a lot more folks chiming in in the comments too. And if I, uh, you know, ever read a comment wrong or take it the wrong way, I apologize if I, you know, may have gotten defensive or however you want to say. But no matter what, even if it is something that I don't really want to see or hear, I appreciate the honesty, honesty and realness and really just sharing your thoughts with me. So don't ever let my kind of, I don't know, the way I take things or perceive things to steer you wrong from leaving your comments because I definitely like seeing and hearing every single one even if some I don't you know it's expressions you could say it things a million different ways and it's easier to understand somebody when they're with you than over like a, a message a text message you could you know take it the wrong way or it could be said in different tones so like I said, no hard feelings if I did kind of, you know, may have gotten upset or something like that. Don't, don't ever let that stop you from leaving a comment telling me how you feel, what you want to see. Because I am up for suggestions. And what you like to see is what I want to give you. So let me know. Okay. Love you guys. Creeper out for now. Peace. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll ring you in to be a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.